Hey there, fans. Welcome back to a new episode of Prime Crossovers. In our last episode, we showed you how we created the Transformers Prime Inferno character for the Dinobots Unleashed sequel. And uh, what I did is I took you through the one, two, three, four step that the Transformers Prime, how to draw Transformers Prime uh, book uh, showed us, right? Where we started out with a basic stick figure, then we laid in some basic shapes, then we gave it some more form, and then we gave it some detail, and then I actually finalized it. And I mentioned that I finalized it in um, Illustrator. Why? Because of the pixelation. Remember, Photoshop is pixels, so when you blow it up, it eventually pixelate, where when you deal with it in Illustrator, it deals with mathematical equations, uh, calculations known as vectors, and so you can blow that image up as large as you want. Why is that useful, you might ask, right? Keep in mind, let's just say that you are a, um, maybe you're a freelance uh, graphic design artist and you've got a client and he comes in and he says, uh, he or she, uh, they come in and they say, um, you know what, I want you to design a logo for my company. Okay, cool, so you design a logo. You think nothing of it because it's not, not really, you know, specified uh, what the logo is going to be used for, but let's just say they say, okay, we want it on, on letters and, and uh, letters that we're going to mail out, maybe some business cards, something real simple, real small. No problem, but let's just say two years pass down the road, company, that person's company gets bigger and they're having a big promotional event and they come back to you and say, hey, listen, you know that logo that you made for us? Uh, we need to blow it up and that, that image from before just isn't cutting it, right? So now you gotta come back and now you gotta design it in Illustrator and so that way it can be blown up for that giant banner. So this this step, by doing it this way, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to worry about that the day of tomorrow. You can blow it up for anything that you want um, and when I, when I mean blow it up, I mean you can increase the size of it and not having to worry about the image distorting. So in this particular case, we are going to work with a very simple character because again, this is not, I, I'm not trying to design a character here on this episode. We already did that in the last one. What I want to do here is I want to show you how we finalize it uh, in Illustrator because one of you folks uh, asked for it and then I, I did receive a couple of emails uh, requesting it. So here we've got RID fix it. You can see some really simple shapes here. We've got some circles, we've got some squares, we've got some rectangles, right? Real, real basic, easy character. So just like before, we're gonna come in and we do our basic skeleton, right? And then we add in the basic shapes, right? To mimic what we're doing here, right? And then what I do is I, once I, once I have pretty much what I like in Photoshop, then I go ahead and take it on over to Illustrator as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already got my Illustrator set up here. As you can see here, we've got our, and I'm bringing this down here, we've got our layers that we're working on. I usually put a background, I put it in the background and I lock it so that it doesn't move, can't select it at all. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and work on um, the layers. Now, what I like to do is I like to take each body part in different, uh, in different layers. So let's just say this one's gonna be the head for now, right? This is going to be key when you organize what you're doing because um, it, it can get messy and can get complicated. So let's just say I'm going to work with this simple shape right here. Let's just lay this in. Real simple rect uh, rectangle shape, excuse me. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to change the color just a little bit. Just so that we can indicate the, the black color. Right? See that? Now, now if we want to create some depth on this, right? Let's go back and what we'll do here. See how it's got a little bit of depth in there. It looks like it's indentating. All right, now we're gonna change that color back to the orange that we had and we'll keep it dark so it looks like there's a shadow. Now watch this. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna bring this over here back to where we had it. And you can see right here now we're gonna align, we're gonna zoom in, you can see it's not, perfectly aligned, but we'll, we'll align it. And then we'll go to point. Keep in mind that when you're working, uh, no matter what you're working on, whether it's 2D art, whether it's 3D art, you're gonna have points, you're gonna have lines, you're gonna have faces, we gotta close that up. Um, and that's how you work, right? We've got points, we've got lines, and they create a face. Uh, or, or a side, right? It's uh, face is another word for a side. So you, you, as you can see there, let's just say we want to do the face real quick. 
let's just do the face. All right, I'm going to come in here. Again, I'm just going to lay some basic points with my pen tool. You can see here it's on the black side. And this character is super easy because it's got a, you know, some jagged lines, right? There's not a whole lot of curvature here. Close that off right there. I'm going to grab this point. I'm going to move it here. When we want to do curvature, well, I'll show you how to do that. For now, we've got the outline of the face. Let's go ahead and change the color. And there we've got our face. You can see it's starting to take shape. Let's just really quick lay in the head. Actually, I want to do this piece up here first. Um, let's see here. Start here. Right there. Now, here's the interesting part. You don't have an outline here. You can make one. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And then what we do is, you see how it's it's in the front of the other? Let's just right click on this. We're going to go to transform, excuse me, arrange. And uh, do that again. And send to back. Now you can see that that's in the back and the other two are in the front. We're going to come here. We're going to lighten this up to more of a mid-tone. Right? You know what? Let me grab the eyedropper and let's just get the right color. And Boom, there we go. There we go. All right, we've got that in there. Let's work with the same color here. Let's let's just do the neck real quick since that's right there for us. As you can see here, I'm laying out all the character details. All right, that's taking shape nicely. All right, let's go ahead and add some more layers to work on, let's say, the body. Then we'll do the right arm. We'll do the left arm. Let's see how that goes. So for the left arm, you can see here on the shoulder, it's real circular, super easy. You just grab your, your shape tool, you grab your elliptical tool, and then we can lay in a shape. Let's, uh, let's grab the right color. Take that just so that it fits in there ever so slightly. Look at that. See that? Got that. Let's go ahead and now cop let's copy and paste this, right? I want to bring this over here because we're going to add some depth to this to make it look like there's a hole here. So what I want to do is I want to Bring this in here. Now we've got that and you can already see it starting to take shape, right? Let's go ahead and color this black in here. Let's grab this and let's color this one blue. See right there, it's already starting to take some shape. Got another circle line in here. 
we'll add that. With this one, I'm gonna move the point individually. Why? You can see right there, much easier to do. Now, as you can see here, we did our shoulder. Now we're working on our arm. Now our arm doesn't have to be exactly with the curve. Like I, I curved the anchors, right? As you can see here, you don't really have to do this. You can keep this straight. Notice how this is going to look like it's in front of it though. So you've got to be careful. You got to know what, where your angles are. But in this case, we'll just keep it like that. And we'll just send this to the back and there you go. Right. So that's, that's really important. Actually, I don't like that because at the bottom of this shoulder, it doesn't look like, right, there's a connection. So I think what I want to do is I want to keep that in the front. That angle looks actually better. They're looking look at that see that we're coming right along let's go to the body now Don't worry about the highlights we'll take care of that afterwards right now we're again we're just doing our outline if we will If you accidentally put a, uh, a, a piece, uh, whatever it is that you're working on, right? Uh, if you accidentally put it in a different layer because you touched something that was in a different layer, don't worry, you can always remove that. And I'll show you how. So let's just say I don't want this in the body. Let's say I, I would want this, let's just say for whatever reason, in the head, I would, I would make sure it's selected, highlight the layer you want to put it to, come over here, right click, and then hit arrange, send to current layer, and that now becomes part of the other layers. You can see here, I'm turning it, see? Let's go ahead and change that back because I don't, I don't want it.
All right, now that we've got our character uh, basically all done, we can go ahead and start to refine and add the details as we want. Um, you guys already see how this process works. But what I do want to show you is um, I do want to show you how to do the highlights and the shadows. So let's create two more layers or one. You can do either one. I, I sometimes I mix and match. Let's just do um, shadows highlights. So remember, with shadows, you want to go darker than the color that you have. With highlights, you want to go lighter. So let's just uh, let's just hide all of our all of our stuff, right? Let's start out right here um, with this particular highlight, right? Let me select the color, the orange color, just so that I have that. We're gonna we're gonna use that as our base. All right, so let's go here. We're just gonna again same thing. Put in with our pen tool lines and dots. And, and everything depends on how detailed you want to get. You are the artist, you get to decide. You can go super detailed, you cannot. Now, the difference that we're doing here versus the uh, in, in the previous section was that we're doing an outline, right? We've got our fill and we've got our border. In this particular case, when we do shadows and highlights, we don't want a border. So let's turn off our border. And then what we're going to do is we're going to color. We're going to go lighter. So we're going to come over here. You don't want it to be white. You don't want it to be dark. Now let's see how that looks with the body. Let's just look at that. Right? We've got something there. Let's let's keep going. Let's let's even though this is part of the arm, um, let's put in this open area right here. We'll fix the color up in a minute. Let's just do this right for now. And then what we're going to do is let me grab the head, turn on the head. Let me grab the color from the head right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to move this over to our body layer. And there we go. Since it's hidden, boom, there we go. So when we bring in the arm also, and see there, it's already starting to take shape, right? Turn that back off. Now let's do, let's do some more shadowing. Now for this midsection here, right? We've got some gray and we've got some extra detail going on here. So this is pretty simple to take care of. So here's what we're gonna do. So again, we're gonna grab the gray on this one, go to our shadows. See how that looks. Okay, also, what I want to do is I want to do the so these lines here, so you can see right here, you see these lines? I want to work on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, grab the one with the outline. Turn it off. Now watch this. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go up, create these lines, come back down. Now I'm going to close it right here. Now you see how we've got the fill? If I turn the lid, we've got the fill. You can see that. So in this case, I want to blank out the fill and it just gives us that borderline. Beautiful. It's exactly what we want. You can see that it's overlapping the shadow. Just want to make sure that it connects. Now we'll create. Let's make sure we've got the whole thing selected. Let's do a copy and paste. Let's turn this off. And that way we can get exactly what we need here.
here. Now we've got our shadow happening right there. Let's keep working on. Now I want I like to keep all the layers and the shadows in one. Uh, layer. Keep working your shadows and highlights until you get to your finished product, which again, we're mimicking this design and eventually it'll all look like this, right? But when you're doing your own character, you give it as much highlights and as much shadows as number one makes sense and then number two as you see fit. So guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was extremely helpful. We will continue to show off more characters, our own characters from our sequel films and some, some that we'll just create out of the random. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Uh, until next time, to all or one, peace out.